This is a teardown of a D-Link DI-604 residential gateway, which I think is just a weird name for a router. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I predict there's screws under the rubber feet. Let's see if I can pop those off. There we go. It's an older device, so not much value. Hopefully it's at least 10-100. That matters. Doesn't say. It'd be funny if it was 10 megabit. And just a normal clamshell case. No uh, locking tabs though. Put it together. And this back plate on a lot of the newer stuff would have been a removal piece, but it looks like it's integrated into the bottom housing, which is uh, different. There we go. So two pieces, plus all the light guides for the uh, front indicators. Kind of fun how these older ones use uh, just regular through-hole LEDs instead of surface mount. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this heatsink off though. Let's see here. I'm just going to get the proper tool to do it. All right, got the heatsink off. Just stuck on a little thermal adhesive pad, and the processor. For this is an ADM Tech ADM 5106 and got some flash storage there and a Samsung memory chip. I happen to have a speed stream modem nearby that I took apart. be interesting to see if it uses the same memory. Nope, this uh, modem has a little less memory I think. I'm assuming the 1632 versus the 3232 has to do with the uh, memory capacity. But, since it's nearby. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Just your run of the mill. Power regulation here. I think this has to do with filtering basically for the ports, Ethernet ports. I'm not sure if the lattice chip is doing the networking or not. Let's see. Looks like this uh, chip is an all-in-one solution. Also, it's a little askew because I uh, twisted the heatsink off. But, kind of fun seeing inside. But, uh, yeah, hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.